I had to bring these because they came from the keto box and Anthony wouldn't let you try them, so I had to save them from him. Well, he's grounded. Welcome to Keto on the Couch, episode 76. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 120 new subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Now, here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down right here on this bench and talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is 2crazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Okay. What's with the outfit? Does this hat make me look like I am on vacation? It makes you look like you're going to the beach. Well, I need a floppy hat. You look awesome, by the way. Thank you. Are I'm, you wearing a sundress? I am wearing a sundress. And a hat. We're trying to be cool and covered. You look like you're going to the beach. Well, I mean, anywhere around water here, I get burnt. There's a problem with this. I don't need sand. I don't need ocean. Again, you look like you're going to the beach, but there's a problem with this. Why? We're going camping. Well, we're going around the springs. That feels water to me. And hiking. We are going hiking, but I and need- And mosquitoes. Well, this, I can just put the mosquito netting right over top of my head and it won't even touch my face. <laughs> right? Okay. I think it'll work. So this is going to be a quicker episode of Keto on the Couch than normal, which everybody's probably like, yay, right? No. Um, but number one, I'm having an allergy attack, of course, because I'm going on vacation. Yeah. So I'm having an allergy attack today. Number two, it's Saturday, so we're a day early. Yeah. But I have so much to do. So all week long, I was trying to get all of my work caught up for the week. We had like some like issues going on in the house that were causing some stress. So I'm really proud of us for handling the stress. Um, Still doing the right thing. Still doing the right still thing. Still making good choices. Yep, and I'm glad that we were able to do that, but I spent the whole week trying to like not play catch up, but like play get ahead. Yeah. And I still have like three videos. That's a edit. harder game. I still need to go to Walmart to buy spare bicycle tubes because we're trying to think of everything. And I know our luck, we're gonna get up there and we're going to have a flat tire on a bicycle or something like that. So you're trying to prevent that. I'm trying to prevent everything. And of course, Anthony and I got caught in a torrential downpour the other day right when we were cutting. Mm -hmm. And we got in the truck soaking wet. So I need some like, what's a nice way to say the car Do you stink stinks. it? You need some poopery in there? No, well, I need some of that, that damp red. The stuff that's going to get like the humidity and the odor because there is something about when your car stinks, it it goes with you. Wet. Like it gets on you and then you travel with that smell. It's like yeah. that Seinfeld episode where it's like the B.O. So like the the O has had left the, the one guy's B and had gone to the other guy's B. Yeah. It was an entity into itself. And that's what it's like in a work truck. Especially when there's wet. And we try to keep the car really clean. I'm just glad we have leather because I can't even imagine what the smell would be like if we had cloth seats. I can because we have had a work truck with cloth seats. Oh my gosh. It's I remember so that smell. Yeah. So yeah, we, I, and then I also have to go to Winn-Dixie. We need to pick up some soda because we haven't done that yet because mm -hmm. the soda the other day we bought with Dubai wasn't on sale. So we're right. like, uh, no, we're going to wait for it to be on sale. Because we're cheapies. And we need eggs because we left the eggs in the car for three days. And the heavy whipping cream. And the, Well, I already replaced the heavy whipping cream. I feel I have like not replaced the eggs yet. I was trying to compete with you for who could have a worse smell in their vehicle. Probably. Yeah. I still think you won. So I have been continuing to take this month one day at a time Put down my list of goals every single morning before I get out of bed, whether that list is on my phone, whether that list is um, in my planner, or if it's on a napkin that is sitting around my bed. I have my list, I have my plans for the day, and I've been doing them every single day. And thank goodness for this list, because yeah, we have been 
stressed out. We've had different times when we'd had to eat than what we had planned. And my plans were things like eat your meal, eat your meal prep today. That was a big one. Uh, one was no more than 20 total carbs in mm -hmm. a day. Now, each day is different based on you know, what the situation is, but I like being in control of my day so that no matter what stressor happens, good or bad, I'm ready for it. The last thing on my list to do today is pack. pack. You got all your clothes in that bag? I do Oh, I'd not. be so proud of you. This is our fun bag. <laughs> We've got fun bags, right? We're going bicycling. We're going camping. We're going canoeing. We're going like river rafting. That's the fun. But when we're done with those activities during the day, we go into the camper. We go into the camper. So I into have to bed. I have some stuff for us to do in the camper besides lay in bed. Oh. I do have Uno, Uno Splash that that, that we got that you got that. But if you have not gotten Uno Splash, get that because that is a fun thing that you can play like, you know, in the bathtub, I'll, in the pool. I'll put a link down below. They're basically waterproof Uno cards. I love it to, to bring it, you know, on camping trips and stuff. I would love it just for my purse to have all the time. No. Okay, so we did, um, well, this is for the drive up too. The book of useless information. No. I plan on sh finding out all kinds of things. Did you know? Oh, so you're not reading this to me, right? That you did you know that if you bring a raccoon's head to the Henniker, New Hampshire Town Hall, you are entitled to receive ten dollars from the town. Now that was a bit of useless information you did not know, and now you know. So bring a raccoon head with you so you can get ten dollars if you're in that town. All right, so we painted the top of our table in our camper with chalkboard paint. So I went to the Dollar Tree and got some chalk okay. so we can play tic-tac-toe. Um, I got a hidden message word find puzzle and this many pins from the dollar store. I'm hoping at least two of them will work. That's my goal. Buy a pack of 50 from the Dollar Tree and maybe two will work. Okay. But I would love to say I do Sudoku. I can't do it. I cannot do that. And I also like crossword puzzles, but usually the clues are things from TV shows or they're about celebrities that I have no idea who they are. So I feel super unsuccessful with an uncompleted crossword puzzle. So I feel like no matter how long it takes me, I can at least find the hidden words. Okay. And last, but certainly not least, I went to Hobby Lobby and used a 40% off coupon so that we could do a puzzle. And look how pretty the puzzle picture is. So I have a question. Yes. When you guys go on your first vacation, really, because this is really our first vacation. Like multi-day. With no children. Right. Are you playing board games and putting together puzzles? Is that what you're doing? Well, I mean. It actually, it does sound like a lot of fun. It looks I'm glad. like it's because fun. Because you know what? Here's what we found out. There's a hurricane coming when we're camping. But you know what? We are already praying well, we absolutely With that are. situation, but you're planning ahead. Nobody so needs a hurricane right if now. If we're stuck in the camper because it's raining, you know, because we're we're on the outskirts, we may just get rain and stuff. At least we're prepared, right? We so are prepared. Got some fun activities. We have some fun activities. I'm glad. So let's talk really quickly. So I do have one thing for you. You talk about meal prepping and you've been talking about how you're making all these plans. Mm -hmm. And I have been so busy this week. You've been doing a majority of the cooking. Now, it is generally Poor the Joe. same thing. Yeah. It's actually really good. It's like a goulash. It's, you know, like beef. And we actually have a vlog from this week, which will be coming out this week. Uh, but, Sausage, chicken. Yeah, just a combination of stuff. Whatever on got. top of like a salad kind of thing. And it's really good. And we've been eating that pretty much every day because number one, it's quick. Number two, it's really filling because it's like 75% like lettuce and vegetables. And number three, it's cleaning out our refrigerator and um, freezer. Okay. Well, here's the thing. As part of being a YouTube a YouTuber yes. for keto, mm -hmm. a YouTube vlogger, Instagram person. Is that what we are? The person who's doing the cooking. Is supposed to be photographing the food before we eat it. Oh, I did not do any of those things. <laughs> I know, because we have no pictures of our food for this week. Honestly, 
it is not good looking either. Like it really looks terrible. It's like ground beef, ground sausage mixed together with like a little bit of vegetables in a pan. That's right. not like super pretty. It tastes good though. It's It tastes good. It does taste good. We're living. We're living on it. So while well, we're talking about staying on We haven't on gained plan. weight on it. We mentioned this the other day during our live stream, which if you're new to our channel, we live stream every single Thursday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, we are going to attempt to do that this week, but we do not know what the internet is like at the campground we are going to. Uh, we're going up to Central Florida to Apopka. We ordered the internet, but... I don't know if they're so, going to deliver So it. we don't know like what the internet situation, what the cell phone situation is. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. Make sure you're signed up on our Facebook family group because we will put a little notification in there after we get up there saying like, yes, we'll be having a live stream. No, live stream. What we'll probably do is push the live stream and do it like Friday or Saturday if we can't do it Thursday night. But I want to try to we'll keep, keep it this trying. Thursday night. But yeah, make sure you subscribe for notifications so that you can see whether or not we're going to have a live stream. Mm -hmm. So and sometimes we have giveaways in it. We had two giveaways in last week's live stream. Yeah, we did. So make sure you're ready for all of that. But in doing all of that, uh, we had some issues this week because we did talk about this during the live stream. We found out that we don't have a code enforcement agent who's out to get us. That's right. We have a Which neighbor is, who's out to get us. Well, so that that's that's the half full, half empty glass scenario. So yay, the city does not hate us. Right. But sadly, apparently a neighbor does. So that's okay. But that can be stressful. It was super stressful. And that can cause you just like just like needing comfort will cause you to eat. You know, being happy about something causes you to want to like celebrate being angry makes you want to eat. I was so proud of us because this happened to be a day that was already a very busy day. Like I had a bunch of work to do and we were trying to film all of the videos that you guys are seeing this week as well as our one that you saw last week with us with doing the camping and stuff like going camping, you know, shopping for camping food. So we were trying to film like three to four videos in a day, try to get work done, try to edit stuff for, for church. And in the midst of this, we have like a code enforcement agent who is threatening us with fines for something that is not against the rules. Right. We're finding out that there's a neighbor who's just going around and is crazy and reporting everybody because there's a piece of paper on their grass. And it like, happens. I was really proud of us because those are the days where I would normally just be eating and eating and eating and eating and snacking and, you know. Anything else I can think of. Well, and here's what I feel really good about. So it's never going to be perfect when you have health goals. If you're waiting for all of your ducks to get lined up, my mom actually sent me a really funny picture of a mother duck and it had like eight ducks all together in a row and it was like, finally, all my ducks are in a row. All your ducks are not going to be in a row for right. you to like be successful and decide like, I'm going to stick to the plan. You're just going to have to stick to the plan anyway. And I love the fact that maybe we did get distracted because we were angry with this gentleman. Maybe we did leave our eggs in heavy whipping cream and that was a loss because we got distracted because of this it gentleman. $10 in eggs. But at least he didn't rob my health plans for the day. Right. right. So like if if you get angry at somebody or you get sad about something because of an outside circumstance, it doesn't, you know, help you to be like, OK, well, now I've had this unjust circumstance happen to me and I derailed my plans for the day. Don't let him have both. We should have taken those eggs and put them in a little basket and no. left them on his doors. No, no, no. no I wasn't going to say egg. I was like, just here's a little present for you. Enjoy these free range eggs. No, we didn't do that. It is after 2 o'clock. I know today's goal for you was you can't eat till 2 o'clock. I can't eat till 2 o'clock. So Anthony and I just finished it is. filming the keto box, okay. eating everything in the keto box. And I had to like snag these from him because he's like, you know, she doesn't get any because she refused to do this box. But I did want to save this for you. So little, this was in the keto box and this is awesome because we talk about how we have nut issues, so right? So this is just right. Yeah, we have nut issues. We have no control over nuts, which is why nuts are not going with us on our trip. But these are awesome. 
They're individual servings of macadamia nuts. So can I say something before I try these? Because I'm sure they're going to be del delicious because I love macadamia nuts. But can I say thank you very much for being my partner in this? And I know that there are a lot of keto couples out there too. We're not the only keto couple. Right. But what a great thing. Something that Joe does to help support me is ask me in the morning, hey, babe, what are some of your plans today? So that he doesn't like derail me by accident. So he'll ask me, are you eating today until this? Are you doing this? So that he won't even like schedule us taping until he knows I'm in the safe zone. So that's something that if you and your partner are um, trying to do keto together, that you can just like ask each other, hey, do you have some plans for the day that I need to know about so that I don't try to tempt you with something that will cause you to, to go outside your, your plan for the day? So right. thanks for that. You're welcome. So I was just thinking these were awesome. I'll put a link for them down below, but I mean, they're macadamia nuts and I love macadamia nuts and it's a great nut on keto, but they're high in fat. The greatest mouthfeel. And Don't they chew awesome? I mean, what I liked was there's 280 calories oh my you can eat this whole pack, but there's reasonable. six total carbs, three grams of dietary fiber, but it's a pack and it was, I forgot how much. I want to say it was like $30 for 12 of them. So right in the line of the price of macadamia nut but it's an individual serving. So now I can grab one serving and now I'm not overdoing it because like, yeah, for me, a serving, I, good it's, luck. It's so funny. Yeah, this is a reasonable amount because another reason why we don't get macadamia nuts a lot is because they are so expensive. And when I go like crazy in the macadamia jar, I get really upset that it's like, wow, that was $25 snacking. Like right. that was a lot of snacking. So, you know, unless we would go with um, CJ's Keto Kitchen, one of, it will be forever ingrained in my brain. They went on a trip to Hawaii and they went into a grocery store and macadamia nuts, like that's where they're from. And they were like little, like packages like this and cans, 75 cents a piece. So I'm like, man, one day I'm going to Hawaii and just bring an empty suitcase to fill it up with macadamia nuts. Are you allowed to bring them back? I'm just, I would, don't know why not. But. Man, I was like, that is the best. Okay. One more tasting for you real quick. Okay. These were in the keto box. They're peppermint, what are they called? Ice chips. Ice chips. Xylitol, so watch out with your animals. It's a straight up candy cane. That is a candy cane. Are those not good? Oh my goodness, for Christmas? Just peppermint. Wow. These are really good. This is awesome. What is the total carb on, on that? I wanna say a serving is supposed to be two, two pieces. pieces, two grams, but every piece is different. And two two carb total carbs, two sugar alcohol, so zero net carbs. This would totally get me through like a Sunday morning. You just got to be careful not to eat the whole bag, obviously. And I mean, obviously, when we go back to church on Sundays, we're going to you know, be wearing a mask. But still, sometimes, you know, you have to take it off or if you're talking to somebody. And I'm always concerned about my breath. And I haven't found anything that is a good, Those are really good. you know, thing. This is perfect, the peppermint flavor, because a lot of times we get things that's like grapefruit. And I'm like, isn't that going to add another layer of like stink to my breath? They actually have a bunch of different grapefruit. flavors. They have like root beer and strawberry daiquiri and margarita, all different kinds of flavors. But I thought that peppermint The peppermint better. is awesome. That'd be great for Christmas. Okay, you ready to get into some stuff? Yes, please. Let's uh, take a quick commercial break. We'll see you soon. So we have our new series here. I'm pulling over the wrong thing. We have our new series Keto called College. Keto College. Uh, and what this is, is it's something that somebody posted on our Facebook or even a YouTube comment that we found very inspiring to even us. Something that just picks people up, reminds them, gives them a little shove in the right direction. And we need that. And we need it. I Not mean, necessarily I need a every shove. every single day. You need a shove in the right direction? So this week's is from Renee. Hey, Renee. And Renee wrote, we have all seen the pictures of five pounds of fat to help us visualize just how much that is. So we can see what a big deal it is to have lost five pounds. Well, here is another comparison that really hit me home today or hit me today. Uh, I know I need to build muscle. So I bought this 10 pound weight. Now I know I'm weak, weak and now very weak in fat, but this sucker is heavy. It is. Sometimes I think I've only lost 40 pounds and I have so much further to go. Well, I can tell you, I cannot imagine carrying around four of these weights every day. It is no wonder I feel so much better. I challenge each of you, go find something that weighs the amount that you have lost and pick it up or find something like this weight and imagine how many of them you would need to carry to equal the amount of fat that you have lost. 
Now imagine carrying that around with you every day, all day. Keep up the great work, everybody. We are getting there one pound at a time. Renee, thank you so much for that reminder. What a great reminder. Yeah, sometimes you need to just, if it's a, a bag of potatoes in the grocery store, I saw somebody uh, this week posted a picture of them um, picking up the biggest bag of, of dog food that she could find because she finally hit her goal. Congratulations on that. She all of the pounds that she had set to to um to get rid of she did so congratulations on that that was amazing but i love that perspective she was carrying a bag of dog food that was seriously like another whole person right and the thought of carrying that around every single day she was doing that she was carrying that around every single day and i i just love that just you know reminder a visual and also just pick it up and see how far you've come and it's funny cuz you know one of the things that we're looking at for the future for our camper is to get an inverter generator so that we can do a little bit of camping at some of the free sites that are available to you down here in Florida. And yeah, Rachel wants a generator so she can have an air conditioner. Let's be real. So Priorities. that means not a little inverter generator that's like 1,500 or 2,000 watts. It means I need like the one that they have at Harbor Freight, which is like 3,000 or 3,500 watts. And the difference between the smaller ones that are like the Hondas and the one at Harbor Freight is like 50 pounds. So like you're going from one that's like 46 pounds to one that's like 100 pounds. Right. And you first start thinking about like, oh my gosh, 100 pounds, which is nothing compared to a regular generator. No, of course. But you start thinking like 100 pounds, that is a lot. That's a lot of weight to be putting in my truck. We used to have an extra 200 pounds in my truck just Every in body fat between the travel. two of us. Right? So I'm like, oh, well, I already eliminated that 100 pounds before. So I'm still 100 pounds lighter than the last time that we went camping. Well, that's the and thing. And that's before adding any gear. Well, I mean, and I don't know if they've seen the um, the vlog that we did, which explains that red giant, like, raincoat that I was well, wearing. we haven't made that vlog yet. Okay. So um, in our Costco Sam's Club hall, getting prepared for camping, camping I had to wear the re red rain jacket that I had pre-keto on our last camping trip because I've packed everything else that fits me, that actually fits me, and that rain jacket was back in the back. Well, oh my gracious. You look like a giant tomato I, or a deflated tomato. I mean, I don't care because at least I'm keeping myself dry going in and out of stores, but yeah, it had been a while since I had worn that and like, what a difference. I don't even know why you still have that. Yeah. It was let's, in the back of the closet. Let's get into our subscriber of the weeks. Now, if you're new to our channel, we have a Facebook family group. Uh, there is a link down below. Go join it. It's free. And the awesomest people in the world there are, are hanging out awesome there. awesome people in there and they're, they're motivating you, telling their stories, keeping you going, telling you about deals, recipes, things like that. And we ask everybody to please share your story, even if you're not at your goal yet. Yeah. If you're three weeks in and you've had success, you're eating less, you've lost a pound, you're off of a medication, those are all success stories. And we want you guys to share them because when you share your story, it's going to motivate somebody else because somebody else is going through that same thing right now. They really are. So... Off of that, we pulled a couple of our stories. Now, if you don't have Facebook, you can send your stories to us at stories at twocrazyketos.com. And we have a couple of them. The first one is going to be from Carla. Hey, Carla. She says, so the left is right after retirement in November last year, and the right is yesterday. Here's to a healthier, happier me down 54 pounds. Wow. You look amazing. You look great. And what a... Um, more enjoyable retirement moving forward. Like yep. how much are you enjoying retirement this year versus last year? Just being lighter on your feet, able to do all of the things that you want to do. And you know that you've set yourself up to enjoy retirement for a long time to come. That's right. Okay. So the next one is from Lisa. Hey, Lisa. She just put up on the scale and she said, uh, I'm super happy today. It's been a while since I've seen the hundreds. Wonderland. I've been keto for over three years. I started at 271 pounds with a fresh, with, with a fresh health issues. I had very high blood uh, arthritis, plantar fasciitis, sleep apnea, vertigo. And after a year, I got down to 189. Then I became full-time at work and I was not getting a lot of sleep and started overeating. 
I was still eating keto, just not really paying attention to portions. I got back up to 218. I was sad and depressed. I had worked so hard to get to the hundreds, but I was not where I started at 271. That's so so good. I took that as a win. Yeah. But now I've been watching portions and doing intermittent fasting, and I started to see the scale go back down. Oh, happy day. Never give up. Trust in the process and remember that progress is progress. Amen to that, Lisa. Well, congratulations and welcome to Wonderland. I love that. That is so good, but it's it is really good um, what she's sharing as far as if you've been on keto and maybe you went back up, we have experienced that as well. Don't abandon keto. Just get right back on the horse or rein in your macros if that's what you need to do because you can gain weight on keto treats. It's not like it's their magic at that. You can gain weight don't if have you a are problem. overeating, even if you're not having the keto treats. Yeah. I mean, there there are some, some truths when Dr. Barry talks about like, you know what, don't count calories. But that's if you're eating one to two meals a day and only certain kinds of food. But if you're going to eat six times a day as much as you want and not count calories, you're going to gain weight. You're going to gain weight. So like I can't eat like, you know, four pounds of ground beef, like we're a pound in the morning and a pound at 12 o'clock and a pound at three o'clock and a pound at seven o'clock and can think I'm going to lose weight. I'm just not going to. Well, and even when he talks about certain foods like you know, hamburger, butter, eggs, think bacon, things like that. I, I look at that and I'm like, yes, if you stick to that, that'll be awesome. What do you add on to that? It's right. not like I'm always just eating, you know, hamburger and not putting any ketchup on it and not putting any mayonnaise on it. You know what I mean? Like you can add on. I mean, if I see sausage, but all sausages are not created the same as we found from Hillshire Farm, you right. know? So it's like you have to be sensitive to like what else are you adding in that like are you playing a little bit of you know devil's advocate with yourself that right. way that's right okay let's get into some comments so the first one is going to be from carly's hey carly's mama she says good morning i needed this uplifting video today i was just saying that i think the cortisol from stress this month is killing my weight loss goals i have been tracking and find i'm giving in on some low carb extra snacking like joe mentioned it is still frustrating because not giving in daily is just eating donuts or Doritos. So that is a non-scale victory. It just stinks when I see others complaining of gaining weight, but they are indulging in the extremely poor food choices. Oh, yeah. All about staying in our own lanes, I know. Thank you guys for being transparent with the food issues we as food addicts mentally have to keep working on daily to achieve the health needed. Progress, not perfection. Blessings and keto on. Be it clean, dirty, or lazy, just do it. We are worth it. That yes. is so Great true. advice. I can't tell you, like, and Rachel will tell you, like, I get so frustrated. Like, you know, I see even other keto people, YouTubers, and like they'll be complaining like, oh, I'm gaining all this weight. And I'm looking at like, well, you're eating 20 yeah, Quest got, bars a day. Or you got to eat a donut. And, and Or I'm like, oh, you go off plan. And like, and so it really frustrates me. I'm like, I'm not doing any of that. And I don't have this. Or what gets me even more upset sometimes is where you see people eating all of that garbage and then still continuing to have some results. And you have to remember, and I have to remind myself that, this is my journey and I need to stop comparing myself to them. But it is frustrating when you see that kind of stuff. Well, and also keep in mind, you're getting a very microscopic view of their life in its entirety. So a lot of times I can be fixated on what they're sharing, a progress in, in one area of their life on maybe like Instagram or Facebook or something like that. But you're not seeing the big picture and what else is going on in their life. And sometimes I'm I will see them being able to eat a donut and get away with it. And I'm thinking, man, I wish I had their life. If you could see it in the bigger picture, there may be other things that is going on in their life that you would not want. So, you know, you, you wish you had that person's life. Do you want the whole life? Like, right. I, I think I'm, I'm happy with what I've got right now. And I will just stay in my lane and focus on, you know, where I can improve myself and not worry so much about competing with other people. Right. Okay, next up, we have Patty. Hey, Patty. And she wants to know, does keto chow substitute a multivitamin? Okay, let's talk about multivitamins. I think they're all garbage. <laughs> Definitely don't take them on an empty stomach. Um, well, here's the thing, and Dr. Barry talks about this a lot. 
for the most part, almost all of the vitamins that we're going to be buying at the stores, you basically have expensive urine. Your body can't use most of the vitamins. They're not the correct form. They're getting them a lot of time from like rocks and things like that. So your body isn't digesting them. Then you also have fat soluble vitamins where your body, you need to be taking them with fat. Otherwise they're worth less. Right. So the best place to get most of your vitamins is going to be from your food. food. From this, you need vitamin D, get out in the sun. You know, but if you're eating a good whole, like Dr. Barry says, proper human diet, you're going to get most of the vitamins and nutrients you need right there. If you're using salt like Redmond and not using like just the table salt, which we don't advise you guys doing. No. The only thing, one of the things you do need to substitute is with some iodine. You can get little iodine drops, just put two or three drops a day in your coffee. You don't even need a lot, but because a lot of times we get our iodine, our, you know, we get that from you know, our salts and stuff like that. But right. If you're eating a lot of whole foods, you won't be getting that as much. Now, as far as keto chow, yes. So each keto chow is going to give you one third of all of the vitamins, the nutrients, and the electrolytes that you need for the day. So if you're drinking three of them a day, that's all you need. You don't need anything else. And that just reminded me, I forgot to talk about this week's deals of the week. Yes. So keto chow flavor of the week this week is going to be chocolate. Oh, yes. Which, I have to pull this up. It took us so long to try chocolate because we were trying all of the other amazing flavors, thinking like those were the fancy flavors, and we didn't want to settle for chocolate, and we were like, what was what wrong were we with waiting us? For? Here's the funny part. Chris sent me this message. The last time chocolate was the flavor of the week was July of 2019. So it's been a while. So if you wow. like chocolate and you're looking for a deal, this week is the week to get the chocolate. 10% off. And if you use our link down below, you get another 10% off. Yeah. Also, thank you very much to Joe, our one of our subscribers, lives a little bit south of us. If you're near a Publix this week, Lily's chocolate chips are buy one, get one free. Wow. And that's like almost unheard of. Yeah, that is a good deal. So Publix deals run through Wednesday. So if you're seeing this on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday... You can get in there and get your chocolate chips, buy one, get one free. They they start their new sales on Thursday. Mm -hmm. So, okay, back to the comments. Other stuff. Back to the comments. Who's next? Okay. Lisa wrote Needed to hear this today. Went on vacation and I got off track and I'm really struggling to get my act together. Need to reevaluate my eating and get back to it. Thanks for the motivational video. Well, Lisa, thanks so much for, for tuning in and just watching the videos. We're, we're just glad to, to be here. We appreciate you so much. And yeah, don't abandon the plan. Just get right back in there. Yeah. Next up is Dawn. Hey, Dawn. Dawn said, when I go off plan and I need to get back on, I eat very fatty things. I don't count. I just eat. The day or two off plan uh, puts me in the I just need a little something mode and eating heavy fatty protein helps satisfy me and puts me back on track. That's smart. I hope this helps somebody. How about a day of what do you drink all day? Coffee in the morning? Water mid-morning? When do you add electrolytes? Do you use Zip Fizz? I found that drinking a flavored seltzer water can sometimes be the something I can have that will satisfy my need to snack. Keto on, family. That is great, Don. First of all, I love that because, yeah, if you're trying to break – you know, eating a bunch of snacks through the day or grazing, or if you've just gotten off track on any, in any way, shape or form, eating something, you know, high protein, but like the high fat will help to satiate you. The fat will satiate you. And that may help you, you know, go a little longer between meals. Yeah. One of the things that we discovered in doing the protein sparing modified fast, which if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link over Rachel's head is that protein eating very high protein satiated us at the table. Yeah. Like we found it very filling at the table. But what we found was we were hungrier sooner because our body was going through that protein and then we weren't satiated long term. So in other words, I have no problem going 24 hours, 18, 20, 24 hours between a meal. Now, mentally, sometimes I just want to snap, but I'm talking right. about actual hunger. I have no problem with that when I'm eating, you know, 65, 70, 75% fat. But when I'm eating those very high protein, low fat meals, 
Can't I go that long. I was finding that, like, I'm ready to eat, like, 10, 12 hours later. Yeah, so us eating, again, it's not pretty, but, like, hamburger, sausage, those kind of things mixed together. Yeah, I'm really, other than having that those stress moments where you're like, I want to go snack because I'm angry about something, and, you know, my daily planner is helping to eradicate that, but the um, those hamburger and sausage type things, very, very fatty. Right. So, yeah, I'm going 17 to 24 hours without eating, no problem at all. Right. Now, the other part that you had mentioned in there was the thing about the seltzer water, and that is a great thing. I mean, that's something that Dr. Cyrus talks about. It's like a bridge, right? Yep. Every time you think you want to eat or you think you're going to snack or something like that, instead of grabbing macadamia nuts or something like that, grab a cup of coffee, grab a seltzer water, grab a Diet Coke, anything that's going to keep you from eating those calories. Yeah. One of the things that I put in my daily um, planner is how many sodas or you know, sparkling beverages do I intend to drink today? And so if I say two, three, whatever that that is, I can tap into that at any time. Right. So like that's the deal that I have with myself. So if it's mid-morning or if I want to have like something sweet, like a diet um, root beer at night, I can just, I can pull from that. I get to have however many you, you agree with yourself to have. And oh, by the way, the what you drink in a day is super easy for Rachel. Coffee. 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 And more coffee. Some more coffee. <laughs> Next one is from Lisa. Hey, Lisa. She says, we had a pop-up when the kids were little. We really loved it. It was so nice to have everything packed in it. The thing I found the most helpful was the outdoor carpet to keep the inside of the camper cleaner. I bought a tent shower on clearance that we never used. We also had a potty for nighttime emergencies, but the thought of cleaning the next morning had me walking to the potty house even in the middle of the night. You will love it. Yeah, Lisa, oh my gracious. So Joe is on potty duty. That was something that like was established at the moment that we whoa, said, whoa, 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 I do whoa, 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 whoa. at the no, no, altar. No, the person who uses it is the person who's got to empty it. The smeller's the feller. I'm a guy. I just can go on a tree. No. <laughs> He's saying this, but actually when he was purchasing it, he was like, baby, I, I'll, I, will, I will clean out your, your turret I really you. don't remember saying that. I, I, I do. I, I don't, don't remember it. saying that. But I did get um, a couple of extra throwdown rugs at the Dollar Tree today because I had gotten a big one and it just doesn't fit. It doesn't fit going in our camper. Okay, well, he, I need to remind you of something because you're not very familiar with driving trailers. Yes. The trailer has a certain weight. It's light. Then there is something else, regardless of how much the trailer weighs. There is a weight limit according to the manufacturer of how much you can put in that trailer and tow it. Pencil thin. Every, a bottle of water could put you over the top. I, it, I'm not bringing a bottle. Stop. I'm bringing a Berkey. We need to stop adding stuff that goes inside of that trailer. We have a carpet. We have two carpets for the outside. That's all we need. We can't keep adding but stuff I to get stored in there. I have a thing about any granules of dirt inside the That's bed with me. That's what the carpet on the you outside is for. Let me know down below. Are you crazy about any kind of dirt coming into your bed. I am like the princess and the pea. I can find dirt granules when it comes to that. Okay. Next up is Beth. Hey, Beth. Beth said, we are looking for a used camper too. Congratulations. We were prior to COVID, but now it's even harder to get one used yeah. since everyone is trying to find ways to vacation. I'm a little high maintenance in my requirements looking for a toilet and an AC. I do not want to go to a bathhouse at nighttime. Nope. My dad and stepmom relocated to Florida from Tennessee 18-ish oh, wow. years ago. They camp down there all the time. He's retired and travels a lot of camping. Usually spring and fall because Florida, they hate the heat. Yeah. Uh, he has a teardrop. He has met so many campers who meet up at campsites all over and they have uh, potluck nights during Aww. the ways to so during the stays to socialize. How fun. I love all of it and I can't wait to find ours. Again, congrats. Well, that's neat. Beth, let us know what are some of his favorite campsites throughout yeah. Florida. We would love to know like what are the great places he and, and also the number of the campsite, not just like where but yeah, you what need to campsite know what is number. the best campsite within a campground. He'll it's funny. Know. I there's this other uh YouTube couple that we watch uh, it's UB and the RV, and they just they Cute. they're full time RVers, and they were spending some time in Texas because he had to have surgery, 
And so now they were leaving. I was just watching this video today and they were stopping in state campgrounds and they're like, there's nobody here. I wonder why nobody's camping in August in Texas, because I think the only place that's going to be worse than Florida heat is, is Texas. Texas heat for camping. But if you've got an air conditioner, it's not so bad. So Cindy wrote, It's really hard to find decent used campers right now. It seems everyone is camping during this odd year we are having. We ended up putting a deposit, new ones are back ordered, on camping trailer, a Viking 12.0 Express. Ooh. Those are nice. It's half hard outside and part pop-up. Thank you for mentioning the Army Corps camping. We'll be checking that out. We have a lot of BLM land here in Arizona and we'll be doing some boondocking. Also love the Playing With Sticks channel. Yes, they are awesome. What a gorgeous family. And we were just talking about what kind of childhood are now, those awesome kids that? having? I mean, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, that Viking is awesome. And that's the thing is that, like I've looked at Rachel's looking at things like scamps and stuff like that. And I said, that's going to be too small for you. Too and close. I just love tent camping. That's why we're excited about the pop-up. And this is like her first experience into at least having an air conditioner or something. But those hybrids, they're just awesome the way they have that hard. And then the piece pops out to have so much more room for sleeping. It's a, it's and you a good still compromise. get that, that tent sleeping kind of thing. But we were watching this one thing and they were talking about how – yeah, because of COVID, everybody's out. They're buying campers. They can't keep up with them. The manufacturers are behind. Everything is back ordered. But what a can I just say, like, that seems like such a blessing, though. I think it's I awesome. I mean, families are starting to get out into the outdoors again. And that's family time. That is quite, you know, close quarters. But the conversations and the fellowship that's going to happen as a result of this. I mean, even, you know, looking at the the, the one lady with her her father was like getting and socializing, having potlucks and meeting new people. Like, man, what an awesome thing. Yep. So next up, we have Tara. She's the camper to talk Tara to. Tara loves camping. She said, I bring meat, all the meat, steaks, burgers, chops, brats, bacon, and sometimes even salmon. If I do veggies, I pre-season them, pack them in Ziploc bags. Smart. Then I use grilling foil and I make foil packets, pop them on the grill, and delish. For easy stuff, I love hard-boiled eggs, keto bricks, pork rinds, cheese sticks, olive packets, pickle packets, artisan salami, artisan cheese. For treats, I like smart cakes and high-key cookies. I always have macadamia and jerky on hand. Another pro tip, cheesy cauliflower or any other vegetable casserole is easy to make in advance. Oh. Freeze it, then heat it up over the fire in grilling foil. I also usually have a few keto chow on hand in case of rain interfering with my campfire plans. If you're hiking, keto bars, the original ones, seem to travel best. Don't forget your uh, 10 essentials for hiking. Safety first. Hope you have the best Time. Wow, Tara, thank you. That, that is, is so awesome. good to know. And like, I love the variety of stuff. So that doesn't sound like you are, you know what I mean, missing out on anything nope. just because you're camping. That sounds delicious. Well, one of the things that I said to Anthony when we did the keto box, and I wouldn't let him eat it because I wanted to save it for a camping trip, is the shelf-stable packets of Kali rice. Oh, yeah. Which we have three or four of them. And we're bringing those with us because we love cauliflower rice. It does... Make everything go further. Simple side. It It's shelf stable, so we don't have to refrigerate it. You don't have to freeze or anything like that. You can just pop it up and then we throw it on the Blackstone or something like that and turn it into like a fried rice. Mm -hmm. Okay, next up is Trisha. Hey, Trisha. She says, this week I'm having the biggest NSV or non-scale victory of my life. I am an emotional eater, always have been. This week had been a roller coaster. My three kids started virtual school on Monday and it has been rough. The school and teachers are unprepared and this mama is stressed to the max. But when I wanted to turn to food, I didn't. The urge is sitting right there, but I am not giving in. Trisha, that is so, so awesome. Yes, so we are absolutely praying for all of the teachers and parents and kids that are going back to school in this season. It is such a strange strange time to be having to go to school. I see like not just older high schoolers going, but I mean, doing the online thing with kindergartners and first graders, what a challenge. Right. And the fact that you did not just start snacking when you're home and could absolutely be reaching every hour of the school day. I am so proud of you. That is amazing. Yeah. Okay, next up we have Mia. Hey, Mia. And she said, I finally bought an Instant Pot. The first thing I made was Joe's yogurt. Aww. I kept half and brought the rest to my daughter. When I got back home, I had a message from her to Joe. Your yogurt mixed with a drop of stevia tastes like cheesecake. Aww. I'm obsessed. 
Haha, ha. even if I didn't like it and I love it, I would keep making it for her. The nut bag is a bit of a pain, so I've ordered a strainer from Amazon. Hopefully that, that will take out as much weight as the bag. Thank you, Joe, for the amazing recipe. Now, if you haven't seen That's that, so nice. I will leave a link for that over Rachel's head. And yeah, honestly, we didn't even know about those yogurt strainers either. I mean, Chris, Chris from Keto Chaz actually who told us about it. I mean, I'd seen yogurt makers before, but I'd never seen those yogurt strainers. I've always used nut milk bags or cheese cloth bag. or something like that. And so that to me was a game changer. I almost want to remake that video showing those because I think it is a game changer, but also it is a big bulky item that you have to get and then keep in your cabinet. And some people just don't have that. So I think the nut milk bags are a nice thing that you can kind of shove away somewhere or even cheesecloth or something like that. I think you just want to remake it so that we don't have a video with me saying nut milk bag a million times. Well, that's true. So next up is Margie. Hey Margie, she says, I am so disappointed all day. I've been thinking it's Thursday. I've been refreshing my pages, waiting for the Thursday night live to start. Then I started checking this family page to see what's going on. Ugh, now to find something else to do. I am blaming it on Rona Brain. <laughs> now that was actually put up on Wednesday. I think it's awesome that you Thank guys you. are waiting for us. It's such a pleasure when we're setting up for the live streams on Thursday. And, you know, I tend to put up the, the reminder to people about an hour to two hours before. This way you start getting the notifications. I don't like doing it early because it gets lost or you forget about it. So an hour to two before, look for the notification that we're going to be going live. But it's awesome. We start setting up the computer and we see you guys are already in there you bless chatting us so like 30 much. minutes prior to the live stream. And it's just... It makes Our us hearts. remember why we do this because we try to establish this family atmosphere, this family feeling, and you guys do that, and that's why we keep doing this. I look forward to that that moment where I see you guys talking to to one another. That blesses us so hard. Like I can't even express what it does to us. Like we a lot of times we are trying not to cry getting onto the live stream. Fortunately, we usually have so many technical difficulties. <laughs> That, like, it helps to distract us from the crying. Yeah, and I mean, it's funny, because there are definitely weeks where we're like, oh, I don't want to live stream tonight, I'm so tired, it's been such a busy day, and then we get on that live stream and we're like, why were we ever even considering not doing it? We've missed one. And you guys, even that one, we were so upset and we missed it so much doing those live streams, we love it. And, and we're going to find a way to live stream this week. We, we have to drive to, like, a Starbucks, we're going to live stream. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Starbucks. <laughs> Okay, last one is from Vintage Girls. So Vintage Girls says, sharing a live at Health and Wellness. Happy Monday, friends. Hopefully airing the show here is getting some of those likes. That's awesome. Also being from a long line of military families and spending many years growing up with summers and holidays in the wilderness. We are huge uh, camping families and we love seeing all of the redos and remodelings of older campers, pop-ups, tiny houses, yurts, camper vans, and all the different types of camp shelters. We love our uh, giant teepee, better than the RV, and are working on a retro camping van. That is so cool. Sometimes for a uh, getaway, check out the HOA grounds. Many now have tiny cabins, tiny houses on wheels, pods, and laundry. We, uh, But we always choose ones with isolated trails and spots in the woods near fishing. Some have vintage trailer campers and some are permanently there for rent. Uh, they're way reasonable too. But now that you have your camper and you're going, you know, you're going to have so much fun. Can't wait for COVID to be behind us all so that we can organize some keto family camping meetups. Oh my goodness, that would be so much fun. Keto camping with 2KK. Now we're talking. But yes, always uh, the spontaneous couples getaway in the camper is a hidden treasure. Sometimes too good to share this secret so you have it all to yourself. Thank you so much for sharing that. And man, I, I am really looking forward to this season in our life. But how fun would it be it to would do be a to camping meetup? Two Crazy Keto's camping meetup. If we did that, who would be interested? Yes. We would have to do it in Texas, though, near Heath and Shelley, because they're not going to come camping. So we'd have to do it lure them out. somewhere close to them where they'll at least show up because I know how he feels about camping. Not a fan. Not a big fan of camping. But that would be a lot of fun. Like, it would. Just like a 2KK camping meetup. Just take over a campground. Well, it would be really. We'll, we'll be banned for life. 
It would be really easy to organize too because the grounds are there. Right. Just like book your site and that would be awesome. Well, that is going to be our video for today. Please do us a favor and let us know down in the comment section some of your favorite camping things. Also, give us some ideas for some future videos. Yeah. Now, if you like these kind of videos, make sure you check out our entire playlist of all of our previous Keto on the Catches, which you're going to find right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're going to find right over here. But whether you head this way or head this way, definitely head this way. Hit the subscribe button. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next week. Bye. Bye.